Peace be with you. Let us all be inspired by a Bible verse today and learn from its reflection. Please share to your friends and loved ones so that they too will receive the word of the Lord. Thank you and may God bless us all. Luke chapter 11 verse 13. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Jesus is teaching about prayer and encouraging his followers to be persistent. Jesus describes the Father in terms of, how much more? How much more gracious, loving, caring is God than any human father? Sometimes our perception of God is an improved version of our own mortal father. But the biblical view is radically different. Our human fathers, as good as they may be, are fallen people. As we look through the Bible we see God's care of Hagar, a supposedly insignificant slave. We see his immense patience with his people under Moses, under the judges, and under the prophets. We see his plans, for Joseph, Job, and Esther, are plans for good in spite of the difficulties they go through. And we see his supreme love in sacrificing his own son. When we come to God in prayer it is important to see him the way the Bible teaches. God may not answer our prayers in the way we would like, but there is no reason to doubt that he will always act in our best interests. There is no reason to doubt that he isn't powerful enough or not concerned enough to act. In regard to prayer, the command is always to ask. Ask and it will be given to you. Luke chapter 11 verse 9. You do not have because you do not ask God. Read James chapter 4 verse 2. In the final analysis, God gives us the Holy Spirit when we pray because whatever our need is, His presence is enough. Also, the Gospel only states that nothing can be impossible if someone is persistent enough to achieve it. The message is as simple as keep trying, persisting, and praying until we get the desirable result we ask for. We should keep on praying to God, because He never gets tired of hearing our thanksgiving and requests. Even though Jesus doesn't always give us what we want, but instead he gives us what we truly need and what is really destined for us. There are times that we think that our prayer remains unanswered but we must not lose hope and give up. We must continue praying for God may not give it today, but God always give us what we deserve in the most perfect time. God answers persistent prayers so we must never ever give up but instead keep on believing. Jesus said that God answers prayers when we seek and call upon his mercy. But then again, should we just pray when we are in dire need? Please help spread the word of the Lord by sharing this video. Again, thank you and may God bless us all always.